Hello, Junction City Today fans. This is your host, Craig Bielik. I'm so happy to have you with us today. And I am, it's my honor, actually, to be joined today by Michelle and Reba right here. And they are from the Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music, right? You got it. Ofoam, as many people say. Yeah, all that, if you're into brevity. Right, if you're into, yeah, if you're into the whole brevity thing, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Ofoam. Well, to get us started, let's talk about what Ofoam is. It, Ofoam sounds like a miracle cleaner in the bathroom or something, you know. Get your yeah, tub the whitest with Ofoam, you know, but it's not, <laughs> is it? No. No, it's a nonprofit organization that um, we put together to um, be an avenue to bring great, live music to the Ogden area. So we don't have, have to go to Salt Lake all the time. I'm sorry, you, you have been doing this for a while, haven't you? Yeah, since um, 2008. Wow. Wow, that's 10 years. Yep. By my yes. math, and I'm really bad at math and all that. What have you done in the last 10 years? Well, we started out bringing um, a fabulous band called the Kruger Brothers, yeah. and we'll be bringing them back in a year. I'll tell you more about that later. Ooh, it's a tease. Yeah. See, <laughs> now you guys don't dare to now, do you? And that show in the Perry's Egyptian Theater morphed into an outdoor music festival, a three-day music festival, camping on site, great wow. music. We've um, always provided admission to kids free because we have a huge um, drive to put instruments in youth in youth's hands. And you so, are, sixteen and under, free to all our events. You're the friends of music, and you want to yeah. you want to keep that going. So, tell me a little bit about your organization. How many people and volunteers? Are, you're all volunteers, I assume. All volunteers, we are. and yeah. we have uh, we, we for our festival, we have upwards of two hundred volunteers that help put that on for everybody. You know, taking tickets, parking, camping. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, why do you guys do it? Why do you volunteer your time for this? Oh, the love of music. The love of music. Yeah. Americana, yeah. bluegrass, folk music. Yeah. It just it just turns my crank. <laughs> it turns your crank. That's right. There you go, folks. And whatever whatever it is out there that turns your crank, it should be music, just like these guys, right? Yeah. yeah. And for me, it's uh, it's really about families, children and families having uh, an event like this in our community. Yeah. We have families that come every year. It's their it's the way to kick off their summer. It's a family tradition and families need those traditions. And it's great to see different generations of people all in one place, you know, grandparents, uh, grandchildren, great grandchildren all right. together. Right, well, it's rare to find anybody that doesn't like music. I mean, there's so many different kinds and every day there's like yeah. a new, something, something new. You've got techno punk rap on mm -hmm. xylophone or something like that. Yeah. I mean, there's always something new cropping up and. And so that, that's a good thing. Everybody loves it. But what we need to talk about right away right. is an event that you guys are having in January. Super excited that we're bringing Booker T. Jones, legendary Stax recording artist and multi Grammy award winner, including a lifetime Grammy award. A lifetime Grammy. And wow. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wow. Yeah. He's, right here to Ogden, you're bringing Booker? He's yeah. coming to Ogden at Perry's Egyptian Theater and we're just thrilled about it. Okay, and so let's get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. Okay. When, how do you get tickets? So it's Friday, January 18th right? at Perry's Egyptian Theater. You can get tickets at our website, ofoam.org, O-F-O-A-M.org. Or okay. right at the ticket office there at Perry's. And yeah. you but don't do that. Don't do that because then there's a chance you'll be sold out. Get them well, in advance. Well, they, they get can, but they're open every day. Yeah. Really? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're open till six p.m. So okay. stop I, see, on I was in thinking, there. Oh, I wait till the box, but don't do that. Get them, well, get yeah, them get ahead. Them get them ahead. Like, and one thing of note: um, sixteen and under are free, but they do need a ticket in the theaters, just for a matter of, of okay. head count. So if you okay. plan on coming and bringing your family, pick up some of the free tickets for your kids and a couple for yourself. And right. So right before the show, we were <coughs> talking about who Booker T actually is, because a lot of people out there, you right out there, are thinking, I don't know who Booker T is, but yes, you do. And explain why. Well, there's a great song. I wish I had a clip of it. Um, Green Onions, you may have heard. And Booker T and the MGs. Time is tight. Sweet. Yep. Booker Sweet T and stuff. the MGs. Um, we were talking about the musicians who are the band for the Blues Brothers show. They played Correct. with Booker. Correct. Um, he's He's produced albums for Willie Nelson. He's played with Leon Russell and Questlove more recently. He collaborated with 
the drive-by truckers. Um, oh, he's an amazing oh, artist. You go, okay, I'm I'm done right there. Drive-by truckers, one of my favorite. Bands. Well, and he wrote the he wrote the song "Born Under a Bad Sign." Oh, and okay, he still right. Still performs I, that. Yeah, as well. I think a lot of people are yeah. familiar with that song. Yeah. Song. So again, the date is January 18th at Perry's Egyptian Theater, and right. the opener is Joe McQueen, our Joe McQueen, lovely Joe I've heard McQueen of him band. Too. Yeah, 99 years old. Right, right. Oh, but he, he's fabulous. Amazing too. jazz saxophone. He's fabulous player. too. So the money that you earn from this concert, where's that go? It goes right back in to pay for the next artist that we hire. Okay. We, um, most of our artists are musicians by profession and they need to make money. And, sure. Um, mm -hmm. Sure, they got it. Most of our money is spent on musicians and we're pretty proud of that. We're not paying out for salaries. And, we get good community support from grants and um, business sponsors to help us with our expenses, but we keep our expenses low, except what we pay our musicians. We pay them what they deserve. Good, good. That's that's a unique thing anymore, yeah. to pay musicians what they deserve, and that, that's good for you. I mean, mm -hmm. that really is. What else do you want our viewing audience out there to know about you guys? Well, besides the, the concert on Friday night, the 18th, the nice thing about bringing him into town, uh, Booker T. Jones, is that, uh, well, it's, you know, it's the start of uh, Martin Luther King uh, weekend. Oh, right. And okay, right. we yeah. actually are working with both Ogden City School District and Weaver uh, mm -hmm. County School District to bring students into Peary's Egyptian Theater in the morning uh, to really just learn about the Fun. birth of soul music or modern soul music from yeah. Booker T. Jones. Fun. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. It's, Do you guys have a website? We should we should mention that too. Yes, it's ofoam.org. O F O A M dot O R G. The Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music. And they've joined us today to talk about Booker T. Jones on January January eighteenth. January 18th. It's a what Friday time? night. It's a Friday night. What else do you do on a Friday honestly, night? You should come. It's a great time to come to Ogden. So if you know if you're hearing this from anywhere else, there's hotels right across the street and you can take the train and, absolutely i mean it would be a fun staycation a lot of good restaurants yeah night. come up take train there's hotels you can stay at my house yeah. give me a call you know i'll <laughs> let you i'll let you stay at my house you know bring the whole bring everybody we, we can all stay there that that's really neat. i'm glad that you guys are in town i'm glad that you're doing this yeah for us well we found that january is kind of a slow month for things going on downtown now that sundance isn't here anymore we try yeah. to bring a great show to the theater and this is actually our third annual snow foam event. All right, snow so, foam, I like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this, is, this has been a riot. So, okay, you guys, there's the information on Booker T. Jones. And trust me, you know the song Green Onions. Look it up, Google it right now, and you'll go, oh yeah, I know that song. They play it on, on the stations all the time. And these nice ladies, we've, we've got Michelle and Reba here with us today from O Foam to talk about this. Go to the website and buy gum, get your tickets right now, because it probably will sell out. Yeah. Probably will. And I and I hope it does. And and thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Thank I'm you, always Craig. tongue tied because I'm excited about Booker T. It's gonna because I like this stuff. I like this stuff. So get your tickets soon, but let me get mine first, okay? Because I want right. to go I want I want priority <laughs> seating on that. Thank you, friends of Ogden Ogden Friends of Acoustic Music. That's the best way to say it, right? Yep. yep. Right? And we'll see you guys all next time on Junction City today. Thanks for tuning in.